Hi, I'm Dan from Choice Point Technique and I'm on the online prosperity show. And tonight we're going to be talking about some unique techniques with massage therapy. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the massage therapist himself, Dan. Dan, how are you doing, my man? Very well. How are you? Fantastic. Now, audience, if you're watching this, you would know that every now and again, we bring in specialists that know a thing or two about what they do, especially if they're passionate about it or if they've got a good story to tell that is designed to inspire you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, today we've got a young man here who had a sudden pain and dysfunction that created his now career where he went through an injury while playing rugby and now he's turned this um, you know, into a, a lucrative career where he's also about to embark on teaching other people a little known technique of ligament and tendon manipulation. Now, Dan, did I say any of that correct, sir? Yes, spot on. <laughs> Great, sir. Now, tell us a little bit about your story back in 2001 when you were playing rugby. What was going on at, 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 with young Dan at that moment? Yeah, so at that stage, I was already qualified in massage and, and I knew a little bit about the body and when I hurt my back, I was, I was just playing a game of rugby and, um, you know, I used to get different treatments that used to solve my problems, but this time it just didn't get better. And so I ended up having this pain in my back and down my right leg for three years. Right. So obviously that was, you know, did that cause any permanent damage to you? Um, not any longer. So, but for that three years, it was, pretty um, detrimental to my, my life and what I could do. It really took away a lot of my function and, and being able to continue on playing sport and things like that. Right. Chiropractors and um, psychotherapists, you even went to an acu acupuncturist and people that study remedial you know, therapy, they had already signed you off and they said it was such a stream um case how did you bounce back from that well i was um trying lots of different treatments and i would go off and on and and i actually met a lady on the way to the chiropractor one morning when i stopped off to have some breakfast at mcdonald's and i met this lady and she got talking to her and she said look i'll take you to see this old guy he's retired but i think he could help you so she took me to to see him and he was 78 years old at that stage and he got my left leg and treated the tendons behind my left leg and and that seemed to solve the problem in my right leg so i was pretty amazed and wanted to know more so that's when i did some training with him understandable um you were about to go into surgery because of this pain um yeah. You know, and then you then got introduced to this old man yeah. that teached you a little known technique. Tell us about what he actually did and how that changed your life. Yeah, well, you know, he did these techniques that were quite unique and, and it's probably commonly known as tendon flicking. Um, so it was quite different to what I had experienced before and especially to, to treat the opposite leg. Whereas most other practitioners, they were looking where the nerve comes out of, of the spine, um, out of the spinal cord. So for him to treat that area was quite different. And for me, you know, I was at a bit of a point in my career where I was wanting to learn more and, and find out what direction to take um, my massage. And, and this really opened up a new door. So um, I was pretty keen to get involved. Right. So you would say that this uh, minor injury was a blessing in disguise because it now afforded you your career then? Yeah, definitely. It, it, um, it opened things up for me. And, but also the pain itself showed me um, things that I can now understand with other people and, and what they're going through. Because three years is quite a long time to suffer this kind of injury. So, um, you know, when people have got chronic pain, I know exactly how they feel. Understandable. So this technique is 
completely different. It's something that not a lot of people are practicing. How long did it take you to recover once it was, um, you know, administered to you? Yeah, well, being a massage therapist already, I, I had the qualification and the understanding of how to treat. So I probably only spent about 10 weeks or so working with him and, and that got me a foundation that I could work off. So I then moved to London not long after that and practiced it and, and just um, honed my skills with it. And, and then when I returned back to Australia, I wanted to start my own business. So I went back and did a bit of work with him and I ended up working out of his house and taking over his clients. So, you know, it took quite a while for me to get really skilled at it, but it was something that you can pick up pretty quickly if you already have the, the ability to treat people. Understandable. So if this method is quite effective, how come it's not available mainstream? Um, I think in the process of healthcare and, and hands-on therapy, like physiotherapists used to be really great massage therapists, but things changed over time and they started to add more exercise and, and different things um, into the education. And this kind of work just either phased out or hasn't really been looked at too much. So the people that I've worked with that are physios or chiropractors, they see the benefit in the work that I do, but often it's not their approach. So I often work with them um, and do what I do and add the skill that I add to the, to the client. But it's not always for everybody and, and the way that they're taught uh, in their universities and, and different colleges. Right. Would it be an easy skill for somebody to want to learn just, just in case, you know, they've seen the benefits of it and also seen the tremendous results that you have um, achieved in person? Yeah, I, I don't think it's um, a terribly difficult thing to learn. It's just slightly different to how other people treat. So um, I've found in the few people that I've taught so far, uh, they've really been able to pick it up pretty quickly. Um, and it's just learning different approaches. And, um, but I, the few people that I've taught so far, they've had some great results um, with the people that they've treated. Great stuff. So if somebody's watching this show right now, has heard your story, has seen the transformation that has happened with you and is intrigued and probably wants to get a hold of you, how would you suggest that people can be in touch with you? Yeah, well, on my website, um, choicepointtechnique.com and or you can Google Dan Potter Remedial Massage and I've got some information on the website there. There's some um, details there to, to get in contact with me. I'm just in the process now of doing some videos for social media so people can see more of the treatment. Um, but also an interesting thing that I'm doing for therapists is they can add me on Snapchat and those details are on the website as well. And they can log into Snapchat and they can ask me if they can see a certain area of the body treated. And I'll, I'll give them a, a live video of how to treat the ankle or how to treat the shoulder. Um, and that just goes directly to them. That's quite um, individual for them. Understandable. So that's, you know, using technology and your techniques to actually bring out the message of this, um, you know, world, you know, world first sort of treatment that is, you know, you're providing there. Well, thank you so much for your time today there, Dan. Um, just in case somebody's also watching this as entrepreneurs, we are all, um, you know, busy working, busy with the hustle. We sometimes forget and negate uh, you know, to take good care of our bodies. Um, as a, you know, remedial massage therapist or sports massage therapist that you are, what sort of, um, you know, advice would you give to people that are constantly sitting on, on their, you know, desks, as you have said that um, a little bit earlier on, that sitting is now the new smoking. So it's become dangerous to be sitting, um, you know, constantly on your chair. What sort of advice can you leave us with today? Yeah, so, so probably movement is the most important thing. So I'm not qualified in giving exercises as such, but there's a lot of research that shows that it doesn't really matter 
which exercise you, you do, it's just as long as you're moving. And I think something that's really important is looking at what you do most of each day and then trying to reverse that. So for me, I'm treating people that are laying on a table. So most of my work is out in front of me. I'm on my feet all day and I'm usually taking pretty small steps around the table and around the room. So at the end of the day, for me, I want to try and reverse that. And some of that is just squats and that doesn't have to be with weights. It can just be normal squats. It can be walking backwards, um, bending my back backwards. So you want to do it um, with a bit of thought, but for a lot of people that are sitting down at a desk all day, they want to be getting up and, and moving around during the day, but especially at the end of the day. So, so really movement is the most important thing. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for your time and wishing you all the best with your own endeavors. You are also going to be teaching other people, um, you know, how to, how to do this new technique, right? That's right. Yes. Understandable. So all the details will be on the website and hopefully, um, you know, some, a lot, a lot more people would be, um, you know, introduced to this, um, life changing treatment that you're offering there. Thank you so much there, Dan. Thanks for having me. Bye for now.